Gaki, say it. Oh, I can't. I don't want to make anybody mad. I'm not. Uh, Azerbaijan, right? That's, I think that's good. Azerbaijan. Yeah. Russian, right? I can say that one. A traditional Russian ally Snub Moscow's latest fighter jets for competitors from Pakistan and Turkey. Eh? Their biggest arms supplier was always Russia. And the rumored deal suggests that the ally is attaching from Rusk, uh, from their Russian counterparts. The Su-57 has severe shortcomings. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's a small, oil-rich South Caucasus country. has big plans to upgrade its modern fleets. And they're looking at Pakistan to buy an undisclosed number of the JF-17C Thunder but they also officially joined. This is near and dear to your heart, Gonky. Uh -huh. RPAs, TF Con, fifth gen fighter program last July, strongly suggesting it will be it will acquire the jet. Uh, Con made its first its maiden flight. We've talked about it on this channel, so they've got a buyer. And yeah, Gonky, what do you think, man? So you've got a country that traditionally buys Russian tech. And now they're like, you know what? We're going to go a different direction. I just, I think it's normal, man. Uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I'm sure there's information that we're not privy to as to exactly why that happened. I think it's good for, you know, the development of the con because that's it's expensive to produce any fighter, let alone a fifth gen fighter. And to have outside support really helps. We do it in the States all the time. You know, we got the EP engine and the Hornet because the Kuwaitis. You know, they funded it and then we took advantage of it. So um, I don't see it as anything bad. You know, I, maybe they looked at their mission and what was available and determined, hey, you know what? These airplanes over here fit the mission better. I don't know. Um, if if I was a bet man, I'd say there's some politics and money involved. But <laughs> oh, don't say politics, Gonky. People get triggered I, about that. I can't say that. What can I say? Political money, maybe. <laughs> Is that bad? Well, I mean, it's like anything else, Is that right? bad? <laughs> All these aircraft deals come with stipulations. You know, you've got a, a country with some money and, you know, hey, buy this. We'll cut you a deal here. Be an initial partner. We'll cut you a deal here. I mean, this is all par for the course. I mean, that's how the F-35 had that with its partner nations where, you know, you say you buy in at the beginning. We'll produce parts here. We'll produce parts there. You know, I mean, that that's a very common thing. What's interesting to me is that they kind of went two directions, right? They went fourth, fourth ish, 4.5 ish gen with the JF 17. And then, so they're like, we need our workhorse. And then we're going to, dare I say, take a chance on the con because not because I think they're not capable of creating the aircraft, but I think you're, it's their first attempt. So you're, it's an IPO. You know, it's it's that it's the initial, hey, we're, we're doing this and we've never proven that we can build a fifth gen fighter before. And and to, to take that leap while scoffing Moscow it yeah. is a big leap. Well, the, the con is at its very like early stages of development. Oh, yeah. Flight test. Yeah. yeah. Early flight so, test. Yeah. Uh, you know, the 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 other airplanes have been flying for a while, so. Again, man, I think it kind of goes back to what kind of mission are they trying to fill? And then, you know, the other side of it is it could have been their just their experience in the past buying Russian stuff. I know. So, like, when I was in Malaysia flying with the RMAF, the RMAF, the, the, the RMAF guys told me, they said, listen, if we buy the Super Hornet, we know because when we bought the regular Hornet and, like, even when they bought the Hawk, and when they buy Western equipment, it can land here straight from the factory. We can put bombs and gas in it and go on a mission. And that was not the experience they had with the MiG-29 and the Su-30 is what, what they told me. Um, but, you know, yeah. politics are involved and you get what you get. You know, these were operators. These were, you know, just fi other fighter pilots like me and you talking. And that's what they told me. So. Who knows, well, man? It, they may have had a bad experience with Russian equipment. Well, and also we don't live in a vacuum. Russia is currently in a war. That's true. And their production is towards their war effort. 
You know, I mean, they could have told him, hey, yeah, sure. They could have gone to Russia first and said, hey, we want uh, Su-57. Oh, oh. Right. I, <laughs> yeah. They're like, so do we. we. Yeah. <laughs> we would love so that. You know, we just lost <laughs> another Su-34. We're down, you know, we, we're running low on airplanes ourselves. We're, we're building them for our, our, our current war effort. Not that I think that they're not running low on airplanes, but right. what I'm saying is when they're, when they look at the picture and they go, when can you produce this? Right. Now the con might be a little bit farther off, but the JF 17. Yeah, it's ready. I mean, it's, I mean there, yeah. there you go. The but problem, you know, I, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, the, uh, to get involved with the con though, you know, it, any kind of joint effort like that, you know, maybe in the future they could produce their own airplane, right? That's the goal, right? So you get, you get, you get to learn, right? So be part of the process on something that's just starting. So I don't, like I said, man, it really depends what's their objective uh, and what airplane best fits that objective with a little bit of politics sprinkled in there. <laughs> yeah.